Ah, collectors, here we are again. Oh boy, it's uh, video 118 and uh, got my buddy Johnny here. Happy to be here. Yeah, this is going to be your last video for a while, for a little right, while, I'm afraid uh, Johnny? So. Yeah, uh, time to make the return trip. Yeah, Johnny has to go back to Deutschland now and uh, uh, do some real work for a living, right? <laughs> this is no true. more of this nonsense this hanging around here looking at daggers <laughs> and swords and all that. It's but, been a uh, joy. It's been a real well, pleasure. Yeah, we, we had a lot of fun together, didn't we? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, you were here, what, a month? Something like that? Yeah, uh, indeed. Yeah, it would, went by Hopefully fast. Helped. And uh, yeah, Johnny's a great help. And uh, I think you guys can see how good he does during the videos. He's a great hander. <laughs> he got something, right? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> uh, well, but, uh, Mixed cocktails and open so, boxes. So, yeah. Speaking of that, I think, uh, is it time yet? Oh, it's 5 of 12. <laughs> it must be time. Good. Yeah. So, thank you. Yeah, we got to get going here. I know somebody wrote in the... The more videos you guys do, the redder my nose gets, and uh, I guess that's uh, that's kind of true. Um, I was thinking maybe I should put some makeup on it or something, but uh, nah, that wouldn't be too good. Uh, uh, so whatever whatever my nose does, it does. I can't control it, and if you think it has something to do with the amount of booze that I drink. Nah, couldn't, couldn't be. be. Nah, they're, <laughs> they're be not another, related, are they? Must be another explanation. Nah. I remember we used to have a big cop in Philadelphia, a guy named Frank Rizzo, and uh, he'd always say, I could tell a drunk by his nose. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad he's not a cop anymore. I'd get arrested or something. I don't know. But, um, well, here we go. He was the mayor. He was the mayor, but he was before the mayor. He was the chief yeah. of police. Sure. Great guy, tremendous guy. Uh, the only trouble was they they made a statue of him in Philadelphia, and then they took it down. <laughs> yep. Oh well, here's to everybody. Uh, Cheers, collectors. Yeah, hope you guys are doing good, and uh, we're doing good, and we're going to have another another video again, and. Um, uh, First, uh, I think we'll show you another picture here. We'd like to start out with that. Um, uh, this picture uh, comes from uh, Zane Summer in uh, Plano, Texas. And uh, I think Zane's just getting started. Uh, but you can see he's got a nice little grouping there with a, uh, a couple of political armbands and a, and a uh, youth armband. Uh, good conduct, American metal. Uh, I deserve one of them, but I'll never get one, I guess. <laughs> you do? Yeah, my conduct is so good. <laughs> you do, he says. And then iron crosses, and uh, I forgot to ask, Alb, are we right on 118? Is that the right video? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, all right. You always have to say that. I'm never, never sure. But some iron crosses and a war medal there, and it looks like a couple of SA daggers and a, uh, and a youth knife. So... You know, if I was just getting started, I'd be pretty happy with yeah, that grouping so far. Gotta right? start somewhere. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, you can uh, you can just build on that, you know. And uh, so, congratulations to you, Zane, and uh, we appreciate the photograph. Thank Absolutely. you very much. I don't think I, I made a toast, but I didn't take a sip. Oh, that's that's, that's bad luck. Good. Yeah. You have to say two now. Mm. I forgot to turn my phone off. You didn't make this too, too strong. So. Uh -uh. Yeah, you did, didn't you, John? <laughs> did yeah, I? Yeah. I tried to be better. Okay, we're getting ready to roll here. Uh, Johnny wanted a Denobly, so why not? <laughs> Such a bad influence. Yeah. I knew there was something wrong here. There's no smoke in the way of everything. There you go. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Okay. You're going to send Jer uh, Johnny back to Germany addicted to cigars. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not completely new to him, but... <coughs> well, that tastes pretty good. You're coughing already. That's good, Johnny. It's good so I guess, um, uh, can we get started then, yes, Johnny? What do you think? You got it. Mm. This one doesn't even require any opening. This is a beautiful yeah. historic item. Yeah, this is something that um, uh, I think is quite... Um, Quite wonderful. Um, a lot of you guys probably know what this is, but uh, uh, maybe some of you don't. It's American, of course, 
And uh, am I right, Johnny, in saying that uh, this was used on D-Day? That's right, absolutely. And uh, how did it work? What did they do with this thing, Johnny? Uh, my understanding is that these were attached to the back of um, backpacks of specific soldiers to help guide and lead them uh, in the direction that they need to go to get up the beach. And then once they broke through, these were hung on signposts and trees to indicate to the troops which way this the Americans the way should go. go. Yeah. yeah. Huh. You think they used them where the girls were too to point in that direction? <laughs> <No>. Or <laughs> there must have been some of that too, though. Once they got came things later, settled in there, it came later. later. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think this is quite a um, quite a real uh, uh, American um, yeah, uh, historic piece, and uh, you can see it obviously uh, sold some time there. And uh, yeah. it's got to be rare. Yeah. I've never seen one before. Right. There wasn't thousands of them. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Uh, I I think it's neat. Um, something to come from D-Day from the U.S. That's, that's yeah, beautiful. It's a, that's special. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, we're going to keep that, so don't uh, don't don't write in for it. Uh, maybe I'll I'll point it towards the men's room or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. I'm desecrating the artifact now. They're over Whitman. Oh, bad joke. What do we got next, Johnny? All right, well, we can start with some boxes. This one is uh, from Burke, Virginia. Burke, Virginia, okay. That's not too far away. I guess that's about a three and a half hour ride from here or something like that. Oh, let's see what we got here, huh? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Mm. Oh, there's a picture here, too. Huh. Wow. I don't know what all. Wow, that's a lot of Cutlery. that's a lot of AH silver there. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> well, we'll see what. The, that's what a full collection looks like. Yeah. There you are. Uh, so it looks like we got something here that that might represent that. Oh, here's a a whole story here. Um, uh, not sure what this uh, this all is uh, is about. Um, I think it's about what's in front of you there. And uh, yeah, why don't you just open this stuff up? Well, he starts out, and this is true. Some collectors say, "Don't buy the story, buy the item." Well, That's a good point. this is a whole documentation uh, on the pieces that we're going to see. Um, this is a comes from Bill Shea. You guys know. Bill Shea, very long time dealer uh, from Boston. Wow, look at this stuff. Wow. Formal pattern. That's a steak yeah. knife. Those are yeah. rare. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a that's a really rare. Uh, this is rare too. They, they're all they're all really rare Thank pieces. You, John. Somebody stole my ashtray. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not sure where that one went. <clears throat> wow. Look at that, wow. Boy, there's some good things here, guys. Oh, wow, the cake knife. Oh. Yeah, the cake knife. So I guess that's that's the whole that's the grouping contents. here. Um, I think what our friend is saying, that, uh, that uh, these pieces were part of this original huge grouping that was um, uh, turned by... Uh, uh, Bill Shea, and it was subsequently uh, sold through the collecting community, and uh, now we're lucky enough to have uh, uh, some of the rare pieces from that grouping. <laughs> uh, this steak knife is ultra rare. Yeah. That, uh, that is really a rare thing. You, just, seen it you book, never yeah. never see that. They're uh, all very rare, actually. And this, what is uh, this one? I, I wonder what that what that's actually for. It looks like a specialty item, mm -hmm. though, doesn't it? Like a fish knife. <coughs> I just think that's a fish knife. This, yeah. no, that. No, yeah, that. That may truly be what a fish yeah. knife is. Yeah. Uh, um, this is some kind of a... Uh, pickle fork. Pickle fork, yeah. yeah. Uh, and this is a nice, uh, I guess, reaching for vegetables kind of thing. And this, of course, is the cake fork. Uh, but these five pieces are, uh, are ultra, ultra rare. Cake and, uh, fork. <laughs> cake knife. Cake knife, yeah. Cake server. Yeah, cake server, you're right, Ob. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so that's uh, 
Can you uh, flip them? I can check the back out. I know they're good, but I just want to show it. Yeah, no good idea, Ob. You always got to see the back. Boy, that's a great piece. Yeah. Yeah, they have the usual... Um, up here, we may have solved our mystery here. Meat something. Meat KM6. knife. Is that what it is? Looks oh, like knife. knife. Okay. So there we go. So that's uh, for you guys that are collecting uh, uh, AH Silver. Uh, this is, um, uh, these pieces are as good as you're going to get. Um, uh, and they're not entry level prices either these things are these things are very expensive um, uh, I have a nice um, AH silver collection and I I do have a I think I do have a cake knife and maybe that that large uh, uh, fork but the other pieces I do not have so they're they're really really that says something really rare yeah not for long <laughs> yeah <laughs> So thank you for that, sir. That was a, a very stimulating package there. Yeah, all right. Louisville, Kentucky. Look at that. I want to know what happened from? to your uh, what happened to your bank ashtray. That's what we don't know. My what? The bank, bank ashtray, ashtray you got last video. Uh, we don't know. It um, it must have went upstairs or something. But uh, I guess we'll have to share this uh, time. Be right? assured, we didn't lose it though, sir. Mm -hmm. We value it highly. We'll get it out in the next video. Where's this coming from, John? Louisville, Kentucky. We were just there. Oh, Louisville. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we could have picked it up there. He wouldn't have had to ship it. Or maybe it's something we left at our table. <laughs> yeah, right. that'd be great. <laughs> Is that Bur Bob Burns cutter sharp? It is he? indeed. Yeah. Bob Burns is doing well today. Yeah, he uh, couldn't do it without Bob. Reliable. He is reliable. Right, what the heck is this oh, stuff? Oh wow, look at this. Oh, wait a minute guys. Uh oh. Looks like that could be a gift for Debbie. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> oh, <look at coughs> there you go. Oh, here we go. Look at treasures. Oh boy, yeah, here we go. Everybody's thinking of bags. Here. And bags, that, and bags, that. Bag of shopping bags. Bag of, bag of uh, plastic bags, and there's some <laughs> cigars in there too. Well, we got to know who this oh, is from. Oh, there's a picture in there too. We'll put that up, Pop. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, there you go. Oh. Mr. Whitman and Ob, it was great to meet you both at the SOS. You have magnificent things. Notice in picture, the bag in my right pocket is the gravity knife I bought from Ob. <laughs> Here are a few things for you all. Enjoy. Phil Kiskadden. P.S. I got my Bob Burns box cutter also. <laughs> oh, and a print. Oh, uh, Phil, you're too much. Uh, this is really, really nice of you. Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, Phil, you shouldn't do this kind of stuff. Yeah, look at there. Cigarettes yeah, for all. Cigarettes for me. Thank you. And oh, some chocolate look. for Debbie. Here we go. We got another, another nice picture there. There's Phil. I remember there Phil now. There's Ob and me with Phil. Thank you so much, Phil. You're a good man. He's on the wall. And Debbie will appreciate that chocolate, too. Yeah, that goes up on the wall. Was that bottle of booze in there, too? Yeah. yeah. Is there booze in yeah. there? Oh, I didn't oh. even see that. It's a, it knocked me over here. And uh, Look at that. Maker's White. Oh, that's why it has the Maker's kind of thing on it. Uh, Never is heard that, of that. Is that a whiskey ob or is that a it's vodka? Maker, it something? should be uh, should be whiskey, but I've never <coughs> seen white whiskey before if it's Maker's Mark. But it looks like the same uh, company. Yeah. yeah. What does it Jeez, say? It's uh, not in Chinese, I'm sure. No, it's not. It says <laughs> a handmade spirit distilled from corn, barley, winter wheat by Maker's Mark, and then it. Uh, <coughs> uh, I don't know. I we'll have to try it and see. Like moonshine. 
All right. Sorry guys, I still got this cold and I'm really, really suffering with it and uh, <coughs> having trouble shaking it. Anyhow, thank you sir for the yeah. gifts. Too kind. Yeah, that is really nice, Bill. I appreciate the cigars too. That's the only way I can get through a cold is smoke plenty of them. They're good for you. <laughs> and thanks for the bags. Burn out the shirts. Yeah. yeah. What we got next? Did I tell uh, that story? Somebody gave me a gift bag. They folded it all up and laid it on the table and said, "This is for Rob. One bag." Yeah, it was just a, it was a plastic bag. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A plastic bag. Well, as they say, Rob, it's the yeah. thought that counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've there you go. started yeah. a tidal wave of this now, but that's okay. I need them. <laughs> All right, this is coming from Brandonton, Florida. Okay. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. How about that, Phil, huh? What a nice man. Wow. we got to show him more gravity now. Yeah. Oh, was he, uh, was he in the picture with him? Uh, he said he, he had said, it on him. He said he, was, he had it in his pocket. Can you see it? Where's the picture at again? Where's that picture, Johnny? Of Phil? Oh, you already got it up there? Okay. Uh, oh, I guess it's sticking out of his pocket here. I think he's just happy to see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old line, Ub. Mm -hmm. All right, all and upward. All the way and upward, huh? Oh, oh the drinks taste pretty good, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, that's a crazy thing there. Look at that. SS marked. Wow. Utility hook, huh? Look at that, guys. Uh, I don't really know what that gizmo would have been used for. It looks like it was to hang something fairly substantial. Yeah, it's field gear. Uh, yeah, field gear yeah. thing. But that SS marking is just really beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Boy, that's a cool thing. What else was in there? Oh. Are you burning the table, nope, John? No, it went oh, out good. A while we got now. an ashtray. I need that. Yeah, <laughs> right. Oh, this is nice. It's a um, a heavy uh, brass ashtray with the um, uh, the LAH uh, cipher and uh, and the LAH key logo. That's quite a nice thing, That's isn't very it? Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, now you got a place to put your cigar right. too, See? Johnny. Nope. Wait, that turns That's out perfect. Yeah, that, uh, that, that's very, very nice. I like it. And it's cigar size, too. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's an interesting thing. Very nice. Oh, this has an S on the other yeah, side Yeah, it's got a big it. S on it. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow, oh, I like that. Whew. Man, is that nice. Uh, this collector's is a, um, a pickle fork uh, with the um, uh, Deutsches Reichsbahn Eagle and DR. And uh, it's a, kind of a rare utensil, I think, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, let's. You got a number on the back? Absolutely. Well, that's what I was going to look and see. Oh, yeah, there it is, 205. That's Herman Goering. Yeah. Herman Goering's train. Wow. And, yeah, and this is not the stuff that was used by the uh, porters. Uh, this is all 800 Mark, too. That's, uh, that's right out of uh, Herman's uh, personal dining car. Hmm. Wow. The 205 is in my mind because uh, last video we had that um, uh, which I thought was a finger bowl that turned yeah. out to be a butter, butter dish. dish. Is that what it was? A butter mm -hmm. dish? It was a butter dish, yeah. And uh, that was Mark 205 also. Right. And I looked it up. It was uh, Goering's personal car. Uh, what's this? SS Dagger item real question mark. Okay. <laughs> we shall see. Dun, see dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. Ah. My nose getting any redder, is it, John? <laughs> no. 
No, no not yet. No, 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 not I can tell. No. Oh, what mm. do we have here? It's like a center ramp and a chain. Type 2. Yeah, it, uh... I don't know about that one. The links don't look right to me. Mm -hmm. Why don't you lay it out, Pop, so I get to take a look yeah, at it. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the detail, uh, the detail to the center ramp is uh, very vague, too. No, he didn't know either. And, uh, no, um, I think he was suspicious. Uh, I don't think much of it. See how see how those mm -hmm. are very vague, not yeah. stamped out. And this uh, the clover leaf looks awful. Yeah, yeah. it's terrible. It's terrible. Um, and then the reverse has a, uh, the kind of thing to try to get you, I guess. Here and oh, an RZM stamp yeah. on there. <laughs> look at the Coulter's Eichen mark. Mm -hmm. that? That's no good. Yeah. Can you get that on the camera? Yeah. yeah. Get your finger out there. Yeah. Oh. No, that's uh, that's no good either. Uh, no, uh, no, uh, no banana for that one, I'm afraid. Uh, Close, but uh, no Denobly. <laughs> yeah, no Denobly, yeah. Well, that's okay. He probably didn't know either, and he said, right. he, he said uh, on the, on right. the uh, wrapping, is this real or not? Well, what do you out. think, Johnny? you have any confidence in that? I, I don't, not really, no. Uh, Just no, slow down a minute, my drink. better than I do. My well, drink. I'm not right all the time. My but, drink uh, seemed to have evaporated again, John. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Else? Probably your drink evaporated when we pulled that chain out. <laughs> Boy, that it ran for the hills. <laughs> yeah, you can see it in the pebbling. That's okay though. The uh, keep stamps. an eye out. You know, yeah, no there's no RZM stamps on the back of those clips, believe me. And I'll uh, have another you know, one too. That culture's sure. lightning is way too big. And... But you know what, collector, though? It's good to see something like that just come up and uh, is it real, is it not real, is it real? Because maybe you'll see something like the next time that's actually on a dagger. Yeah. Uh, and while you're uh, reaching in your wallet, you might uh, remember what we said about that. You don't want to buy that one. Ah, oh, well, it's, uh, I know that Thanks, John. this kind Thanks of stuff know. in a hobby is scary to everybody, but uh, then again, it makes it fun too, you know, because yeah, you've got you that learn, little adventure learn. all the time. Yeah, right. and, am I right? Little or risk wrong? makes and, it. Yeah, uh, the risk is always. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I guess it's like betting on that hopeful yeah, blackjack, and uh, when the ace does come up, it's great, and when it doesn't, well, there you are. All right. But those were some interesting things, though. Very interesting that things. Uh, SS marked uh, clamp. If you guys know what uh, that thing carried, I'd be interested. Uh, could have been some kind of a specialty tool or something. Oh yeah, some know, kind of equipment. Some kind yeah. of field gear equipment. Yeah. Equipment. All right, this is coming from Amelia, Ohio. Amelia, Ohio. Okay. I don't know where that is, but Ohio is really a big state. A big state. A lot of places in Ohio. A lot of corn too. Yeah. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of corn in Ohio. Ah, mm. oh, that drink's good, Johnny. Thank yeah, you. That. that ought to keep me going for another five minutes. Now, what do we got here? Oh. I see stuff that says something here. Tommy, another great moment we shared, my darling. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, boy. oh boy, I'm afraid we What's better What's going not. on here? <laughs> wow. Oh, Thomas. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know, I know this lady, yeah. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, she... Uh, uh, this lady, she comes into the show and uh, always gets my eyes lit up. Yeah. She's a nice yeah. lady, yeah. 
Yeah. May we see the picture, or is it all for you? Mm -hmm. I think we're allowed to look at this does, stuff. Does she have her top on? Or? Yeah. Uh, come on, come now. on. Hey, hey, no, she's yeah. a nice woman. She's very nice. Oh yeah, I remember her. Yeah, she is a very nice. She's woman. nice. Yeah. Um. Uh, look at that guy. He's a little kitty cat. <laughs> Aww. Well, uh, she knows you. Yeah, it looks like she does know me. Uh, is it Anna or Amy? Here she is. Uh, Wow, winner 2024, Tommy Boy, my darling. <laughs> you. I think I'm making you. a hit here. I, every time I smell cheap cigars and whiskey, <laughs> I am taken back to those times we spent together at the military shows. Looking forward to our next rendezvous. Oh boy, I'm tired. Oh I'm boy, I'm about to edit this one. I hope one. Marie's not watching. <laughs> she, might be a little, uh, she even gave uh, a kiss on the picture. Oh yeah? yeah? You know what that is? Yeah, that's what that is. Oh boy, this is, this is maybe a... Uh, don't tell her that I'm 80 years old, <laughs> will you? <laughs> no, no, it's our secret. What's this now? Oh boy. Uh, it looks like... Uh, Looks like things are getting a little out of hand. Yeah, boy, <laughs> you know? you're in trouble with That's this one. Picture. Yeah. We'll have to edit this one out, Bob. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's, uh, it's all in good fun. Oh, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All in the Isn't that nice? What a well, nice lady, though. Mm -hmm. She's a nice lady. We'll have to put her on the wall. Well, I look pretty happy there, don't I? You sure do. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice. Uh, you make me... Uh, Make me really feel good, uh, and at my age, I need something to feel good once in a while. <laughs> nice, uh, well, well, that was a complete surprise. Uh, kind of <laughs> That's sweet. I don't know whether we ought to edit that. Or, no, no, no. That's okay. That's all good stuff. Yeah. Well, this has a daggery feel to it. I like this one. Daggery. Rochester, New York. Yes, indeed. Mm. Rochester, New York. Yeah. That's a good place. I don't think I want to go on after that. Last <laughs> I think I should quit while I'm ahead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and walk out on a high note. <laughs> yeah, walk out on a high note. Oh, that's really nice, though. I like that. It's pretty flattering for an old guy like me. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, why not? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I told you. Got some stuff here. Are we going to be into military or just women? <laughs> <laughs> military, I think it's safer. Yeah, I think it's a lot safer, yeah. Mm. Wow. You got a good feeling about this one. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this looks like some pretty good stuff here. See what this man's hangers and yeah, pretty good. Yes, sir. Yeah, you never know, collectors. You never know what's going to come in here. And well, oh yeah, this this man I know he. This is the last batch I will be sending. Yeah, he's he's been sending me some things from his collection over the past couple of years, which I I appreciate very much. And wow, boy, those look like some nice straps there, Johnny. Aren't they? Boy, look at this set of straps. They yeah, super mint, deluxe fittings. All look the at that. All frosting those. still on that. Oh, it's beautiful. You think they're singles, or they belong with something? What do you mean singles? Uh, like they're they don't belong to a dagger that's that can't hear. Well, they 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 could, but um, uh, we can probably uh, market them as singles. But boy, they're uh, they're super, especially this set. You won't see a better yeah, set than nice. that. All of the uh, uh, plating is even on the uh, on the the top clip. What do you got there, oh, Johnny? I think you might like that. That's interesting. Wow, that is interesting, isn't Great. it? Wow, boy, that's interesting. Wow. I see already with the army. See, uh, that's uh, it's ivory too. I believe. Ivory. Yeah, it's definitely ivory. Look at that. Wow. 
Isn't that something? Well, it's in the generic uh, fittings. A fittings uh, with it looks like a WKC scabbard. Or that is a WKC Eagle, I'm sorry. Could well be. Yeah, 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 I always get the generic yeah, yeah, and the a, WKC. Yeah, they're, they're close. Mixed. They're very close. Yeah, they are the uh, WKC fittings and still some frosting on the scab. Boy, that grip is uh, wild, isn't it? Look how that edge toning yeah. happened. Yeah. Wow. Got a little crack up here, but uh, nothing really. Mm. Oh boy, oh, here wow. we go. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a boost. A marked boost. Yeah, how about that? Age has a little blade, little her blade has a little age to it, uh, but it's not too bad though, and uh, no, it kind of goes bad. with the uh, yeah with the grip. You know, this dagger has been has been worn. Uh, yeah, wow, isn't that interesting? That's cool. The grip is really cool. Yeah, the grip is very very cool. Yeah. Well, an Emil Vuce etch is pretty cool too. Always, yep. Always appreciated. So that's uh, so that's, that's it. You're not going to lay it out for the viewers to see. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're right, Ob. Here we go. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I guess I'm uh, a little dazzled from that last. Uh, Boy, that is one hell of a grip. Picture. Isn't that cool? That's fantastic. Okay, thank you. You want to see the other side, sure. the, the boost? Yep, sure. See the grip too. Yeah, that grip is. Uh, I love stuff like that, you know. Oh it's, yeah, you know, really cool. I agree. Yeah. I think um, uh, the little bit of age on the bottom too is um, is pretty superficial. I think yeah. that'll clean off most of that. Great, that's a nice piece. Am I allowed to put it back now, Ob? Yes, you're allowed to put All it right. back now. <laughs> What's next, Johnny? Next, and very nice Whoa. second model look. Yeah, it looks like icorn all the way. Right, with the gilt. Yeah, with the gilded uh, swazes and icorn scabbard. It's got a nice, uh, nice grip. Grip and, is uh, beautiful, right? That yeah, kind of honey yellow, gold. Look at that portipi just worn where it would be, and yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, the grip Lighter is the really fine. The scabbard's fantastic. Look at the finish. It's all yeah, there. All the airplane, airplane gray, gray on there. Yeah. <clears throat> Just a tiny bit there where his hand was, probably yeah. when he was balancing it. Oh. Wow. Yeah, there we go. That's um, a rare mark. It, um, it is a rare mark. Um, in fact, I, I, don't, I don't remember even seeing that mark. Wow, that is... Uh, that is cool. Small stamped icorn. Uh, usually when you see wow. a stamped one like this, it's 1940, but the stamp is different from that. That's uh, I've never seen that stamp before, but it certainly looks original. And, it does, uh, absolutely. And uh, hell, the dagger's icorn, icorn too. Icorn all the way. I wonder what Beautiful that blade. is. Somebody grabbed the wrong stamp when they were making it? I don't know. Boy, that's a, yeah, the blade is stone. Fantastic. Man. That's a very curious thing. Uh, collectors, if you've seen that icorn stamp, uh, uh, let us know. Uh, I do not ever remember seeing that. I guess not on a second no. look now that I think about it. Yep. No. What do yeah. the, uh, the top of the cross cars look like? Oh, they're typical icorn. Yeah, typical with icorn, a, icorn right? Yeah, okay. no, it's uh, icorn all the way. Totally icorn. Hmm. But that, uh, that mark is really, really interesting. And usually they're stamped the other way, mm -hmm. so, so that's curious too. But well, see that guys, you know, as long as you've been in this, uh, you never know. There's always something always new. Something new yeah. To see, you know? And I, I don't have a, a doubt that that's original. So like, ah, we, ah, I've seen that all the time. What's the matter with you? Yeah, what's wrong with you, Whitman? Well. Mm. Mm. We have next. Well, here we got a. There's a generic. Oscar. Another generic. Yeah, this one's generic for sure. <laughs> yeah, with a white grip and. Uh, the grip looks interesting. Yeah, see uh, that late um, 
uh, nickel kind of plating instead of the silvering that we see. And let's see what we got here. Oh, isn't oh, that nice? Anton a uh, Wingen. Anton Wingen piece. Yeah, the little knight. Yep, the little knight. Yep. That's a nice piece. It's a very nice piece. Boy, that blade is full mint. Got the cross graining all the way to the tip. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know, even though this is a late piece, guys, with, oh, also, uh, I noticed, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, even though it's a late piece and it's that late um, uh, nickel, uh, you got to remember this is what they made then. And you shouldn't say, oh, that's not a dagger I would want for my collection. I want this silvery thing. Yeah. But this is the variation that was produced at that time. And, Absolutely. Uh, uh, that's a very, very, the condition is extraordinary. Yeah, yeah this man. Uh, Good things. This man knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, some interesting daggers here. I still can't get over that. Uh, right. That ivory grip. Wow. Isn't it amazing? Amazing what time and different elements and conditions will do and the storage will do. Yeah. Yep. Well, let's see what we got here. A nice uh, a long version K98 with a. A portape that, uh, boy, that looks like it's original to it, doesn't right? it? Yeah, the way that's tied right and all and stuck in place for years. Oh boy, here we go. Uh huh. Uh, this is the uh, <coughs> common um, holler pattern, uh, but fantastic condition. Really Excellent, jumps, yeah. doesn't it? Man, really. Bright blade, nice yeah. frosting in the background. Frosting's terrific, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry, collectors, I'm still nursing this cold. Yeah, beautiful blade. Yeah, that's a, that's a good, uh, good piece. <coughs> Sorry, Joni. No, no. <coughs> Poor thing. Came with uh, another knot, too. Oh, good. <coughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Shows a little usage, but uh, right, and one more piece here. Mm. Ah. That's an interesting pommel. See how the oh, yeah, look at that. the beak yeah. come down there. Uh, that's usually a pack trait. Really, you, know, you don't see many many pack. Uh, I'm not saying it's pack, but I've seen yeah. that with pack daggers before. First off, it's and a police it's a clam. Band. Right, yeah, it's clam a police shell. bayonet. You got to tell everybody. What well, it is. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. guys. It's, it is a police bayonet. Um, you guys act like you're the only guys in the room. Here. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and it's a and it's a clam, and um, the uh, short length of it and all too. I would say it, it's a officer piece probably. Mm -hmm. But Highly that, enhanced uh, though, uh, bird's head. No doubt about it. Well, but that bird head. You see that, Johnny? Yeah, How absolutely. It's, uh, the the beak comes way yep. down much more, and it's also got a mortise button on it too. Let's see if there's anything more to it. Oh, very, very nice blade. Beautiful, Beautiful blade. Uh, this is not a cut down yeah, or anything. Yeah, so this would be the was, was private made. purchase, right? Yeah. It is oh. a pack. Look at you. Boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm this good. This guy knows something. I'm good. Well, that's wow. a beautiful mark, too. It's tremendous. Yeah, I like that one, too. Mm -hmm. you know, <coughs> Oh jeez, have another Denobly, will you? Yeah, it's not the Denobly's, it's this <laughs> damn cold, Ub. How about that? I mean, try and remember when you've ever mm. seen a pack marked no. police bayonet. Um, I knew it was packed because of that eagle. Mm -hmm. They're just. Uh, Can I see the, uh, the reverse side there of the, uh, yeah, the hilt? Get yeah. your hand out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see where the, yeah, the mortise button works. 
Hey, that is cool. really, really yeah. a. Uh, that's a special uh, one. Uh, uh, that is a special one, yeah. That's a unique piece right there. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know if it's unique, but uh, that that's is something you're not going to see good. often at all. <laughs> yeah, that's a rare one, though. <clears throat> I think it's a treasure. Wow, how about that, huh? The weight of it, too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's yeah. It's incredibly yeah. heavy. It's really. Uh, Quality piece. Boy, that is uh, great grip plates. Yeah, it just uh, nice. boy, I could look at that for a couple hours. That uh, and then that trademark and all. Well, isn't that something, huh? Fantastic. Yeah, really nice things. Yeah, well, goodness, quite a box. Thank you, sir. Uh, you said that uh, this was winding up your uh, your stuff. Um, well, that's a good wind-up, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're doing all right so far, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I should say so. Oh, this is a big box. Wow. This one is a little hefty. Heavy, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hope there's not a body in there. Man, that thing's heavy. <laughs> hey, you never know the way this bottom boxing is going here. It's all surprises, <laughs> thrills and chills. Right. Sure that Bob Burns cutter is still working? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's there we go. Wow. Oh, oh boy. Oh, Here's some right items. Here. Where's this coming from, John? Uh what did I see? Utah? Oh, no. oh Cottonwood Heights. In Utah, we uh, we had something from that man before. Oh, this is a ton of things here. No, there's, a, no, there's no way we can look at all this stuff. There's all kinds of... Well, we'll just get a, a glimpse of it. Well, what are we here for if we're not going to look at it? <laughs> well, I mean, there's, a, there's... It's all badges and... And there's a bunch of them. Wow, well, there's a bunch of everything. Well, yeah, take a couple a... pieces and take a shot. Bob. Yeah, I understand what but you're this saying. Is, uh, this would take uh, uh, more than the whole video to look at it all. Please open carefully. <laughs> I don't know what a lot of a lot of cool stuff here, guys. But this is the kind of thing uh, that you can enjoy on a Saturday morning with a cup of coffee and uh, and thumb through everything. Uh, but it's too much to uh, to show in the video. But we'll show a couple things. Some photo albums, maybe. Give you an idea. Yeah. Right. Why don't you take that one? I'll move this out. All right. We'll see what these are. I like photo albums. You like photo albums, Johnny? Yeah. Well, there's a handsome chap. <laughs> oh my goodness. Boy. We ought to get him to do the next unboxing. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a puppet. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sure he was the number one sniper. Mm -hmm. yeah, he probably was. Yeah. Boy. Oh, well, there he is again. Uh, there he is oh, again. Pith yeah, helmet yeah. on. That's good yeah. in that pith helmet. Yeah, well, he was the most handsome guy I've seen. Well, it looks like we got a whole bunch of uh, of uh, photos here. They're not captioned, but they're still probably interesting. A lot of different things. By the looks of that guy, I don't think you're going to see too many women. Anything in this, discernible? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's uh, Tunisia or North Africa. Is that what it is? Sure, uh, yeah. I'm looking from upside down here. Yeah, I think it, well, that pith helmet too. Uh, I think he's yeah. I think he's a North African soldier. Yeah, maybe he was. 
pretty is cool. Is he in that picture? Is that him with the glasses yeah. on? Yeah, he looks yeah. better there. He's got a drink in his hand. Yeah, way. so this is his, uh, this is his uh, personal uh, album of uh, what he did during the war, There's going a swimming. There's on the beach there. Is that what he's doing? Yep. He better be careful. Get arrested for that today. I don't uh, think he's worried about it. No, I don't think so. Well, anyhow, you can see that that uh, is probably a pretty interesting thing if you study it. Yeah, it looks like a... Uh, yeah, we have to take another look at it, but it looks cool. Yeah, a lot of nice... Uh, I think you're right, it is uh, North Africa and all. So, okay, that's uh, that's one of the things. Uh, I think it's all photo albums, Pop. Oh, boy, really? Yeah. Wow. Well, we'll look at one more. Hey, if we want to collect photo albums, they're out there, you know. Well, I, I'm thankful for that because uh, I like photo albums and we don't get many to sell, you know. Mm -hmm. Now you're right, Ob, there's another photo album. Wow, that's cool. Let me see this guy. Well, he looks a little... What's his name? Willie Bow Belgard. I like the way he wrote his name in there, though. It's pretty cool. Sure. And then he jazzed it up pretty nice. <coughs> and there we go. 1938. Pre-war stuff here. You know, you got to remember, too, collectors, um, when you see photo albums like this, remember, it kind of represents the uh, the life of a person yeah. for, for the time the uh, album shows. And if you study all this stuff, you know, you get to know, oh, that's his parents, oh, that's mm -hmm. his girlfriend, mm -hmm. and uh, this is a guy he hung one, around with, and all that cherished kind of stuff. album, and now it's just like on the market. It's yeah, like, mm -hmm. odd, yeah. yeah it's kind I of, always wonder why... Uh, you wonder why families would sell these things, right. but they but they do. That looks like a pretty neat shot. <coughs> so there we go. Uh, lots of stuff in here. Yeah. So okay, that'll do it for that. And uh, uh, there are a, a lot of other things in the in the box. Yeah, I thought you might look at. Is that, is that out of the box? Yeah, yeah okay. Way. Yeah, I like stuff like that. Uh, oh, I thought you were talking about the Crown Royal <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Just an ugly one out again. Hmm. Oh, Same here, problem. Johnny. Same one out. Yeah. Don't burn yourself. All right, put that one in. Let's see what's in this Crown Royal bag. You ever notice nobody throws these Crown Royal bags out? They use them over and over useful. again. Why would you? Yeah. We probably see them coming from 1950. It doesn't matter. You don't throw it out. Let's see what's in here. All right. It's an unbagging. <laughs> unbagging. Yeah, this is an unbagging. You're right, Ob. <coughs> um. Well, here's a nice yeah. mess kit. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, 1942. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, all the pieces are there. That's pretty nice. <coughs> That's it. It's Army? Yeah, Army. Uh, this, I don't think, came with it. This is a separate no. thing. Uh, uh, this has got a, uh, a stainless steel uh, blade with a... Uh, just a, an army eagle stamped on it, but just a mess hole thing. And some uh, some buckles here. Uh, we got a, uh, a Luftwaffe, an HJ, and that looks like a Weimar buckle. Uh, here's a, uh, a very nice... Um, a buckle with the enamel still on it with a leather tab and all. That's pretty nice. <coughs> and some uh, Falsham Jaeger patches and shoulder boards, but a shoulder boards and a uh, 
NCO patch. Let's see what those shoulder boards are. Yeah, yeah, there we go, guys. Looks like a matching pair. 28, 28. Oh, there's a naval breast eagle. <coughs> so there's a number of things, guys. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Stick pins and... Stick pins and stuff. Uh, uh, fairly common ones. Uh, I don't know what that one is, though. I don't remember seeing that, but... Uh, Some kind of a tinny, isn't it? Yeah, maybe it is, yeah. So there you go. This box has all kinds of stuff like that in it, and... Uh, uh, we need to make a, a whole video just on that, and uh, we can't do that. Got to keep moving along, right, guys? <laughs> That's right. What do you think we need to fill up, John? Yeah. Okay. We all. All right. Pretty good box, though, Pop. We just got to go through it, you know? Yeah, well, a, a box time. like that is, is always good, but it takes a lot of time to go through it. And, uh, sure. Uh, we don't want to take up the whole video just on that, and and I'm not feeling that well, as you guys probably already figured out. Poor Johnny's standing here getting coughed on the whole time. Yeah, and <laughs> got insurance to you, Johnny? Hazard yeah. Right. Hope so. He's got he's got to get on a plane in three hours too, so he can, oh the whole my. plane can thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So far, so good. Well, I think. Uh, uh, the time when you can get this cold is over with. I think it's while you're still, I, mm, I don't know. Yeah, There's, you're no longer contagious. That's yeah, yeah, I don't know. Sure. But if you get sick, I, you just have to sue me. I don't know what, <laughs> I, don't know what I would say think. drink it out, but that, that's not yeah, working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying. Yeah, yeah. you're trying. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Uh, let's see what's next time. Huh? Prost. Prost. Mmm. Uh, believe it or not, this does help a little bit when you're not feeling so good. Sure it does. Uh, we got anything else, Johnny? We do, actually. I think this is the last box, but we have a few other things that are coming. Mm. Uh, this is a big one coming out of, uh, where are we here? Mm -hmm. Lynn Haven, Florida. Yeah, we get a lot of, a lot of stuff from Florida. Well, I guess it doesn't matter where it comes from. We're just happy that uh, it comes in it here. Came. <laughs> yeah. Whitman Cellar, and uh, we really appreciate it all. Yeah, we've seen uh, some kind of interesting stuff so far, and uh, yeah, you better watch you don't spill your drink on this, Johnny. Yeah, that's a big one there. We don't want to ruin this nice. Uh, Black tablecloth that everybody seems to like. Did they appreciate you know? that? Wow, yeah. good. Isn't that one you picked up a couple weeks ago? You, yeah, trying yeah, to make it look it. a little more. I said, Where's Johnny? And Robbie says, Oh, he's out buying some cloth. <laughs> uh, what do we need that for? Oh, oh, there you go. That's what we needed it for. Got a nice letter. Well, I don't know what this is all about, but uh, let's see here. Oh boy. Looks like some edge weapons, Johnny. Yeah. Let's start with that. Okay. That's it in the box? Oh no. Oh, there's more too? Yeah, okay. I think do this first and then we'll have room for. It's not thousand tinnies or something? Nope. Oh wow, what do we got here? It's a very nice nail dagger. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that something? Wow. It's held it. It's restrained. He's, oh, he's got it tied to the, uh, isn't that something? He put that into the zipper, so you see if you can cut it right there. And we so can, it doesn't get jostled. Don't cut your finger, John. Oh, that's good. Wow, look at that, uh, that pretty, pretty grip and um, really a, a, a beautiful um, uh, silver bullion navel knot, got the cat's anus thing there. It's and, not uh, glass, is it, Pop? Huh? I was going to say the grip. It looks glass to me. Yeah, is it's it? really, uh, it's, it's different. really pretty. Um, it's not glass. Uh, though, the it? eagle is stunning, too. Um, see the detail in that? No, oh, that's yeah. really with It's kind of narrow, and then it, then it uh, juts out here. It's really, really a pretty really eagle. And, um, 
<laughs> and then the early, uh, I wonder if this might be a changeover eagle, could be. Uh, and then the uh, figure eights on the uh, scabbard bands. Does look like a yeah. early scabbard. Kind of got that, you know, Alcozo stuff again, mm -hmm. sort of. Uh, well, let's let's take a look here and see what we got. Boy, the grip is beautiful. Oh, wow. A uh, nice uh, sailing ship blade. No mark on it. Boy, that blade is fantastic. Yeah, the blade is, uh, blade is mint. Yeah, collectors, this is something that uh, uh, probably was uh, produced 1935, 1936, and uh, that's why you see the uh, uh, the figure eight scabbard bands. The factories were using these up from the earlier time, and, yep. uh, uh, and it makes it for an interesting thing. <coughs> And it might be an Alcozo too. Mm -hmm. uh, With the pointy. The, see the real pointy acanthus mm -hmm. leaves? It's very possible, but um, but that's uh, that's quite a uh, quite a nice um, a nice piece. Great knot. You can see it's just Yeah, the knot been is there. yeah, it's always been there. Yeah, beautiful. Not a glass grip though. No. I don't think it's glass, but yeah. it just has a, a neat look to it. Mm -hmm. um, I still think it's a could be an Alcozo piece. Uh, they are also known for using steel buttons oh, and then okay. gilding them, uh, which is you know when you see a piece that looks this early, you wonder what you know. Yeah. That's the way they they may have done them. And then the blade is um, the blade is terrific. It's fantastic. The camera can get that. I mean, it's a, a sailing ship. Really, really pretty blade. Full mint condition. So I like that. Uh, somebody that's looking for an early, an early piece, and uh, it's really got uh, got everything. No maker mark though. No maker, no. <coughs> right down to the knot. It's really, mm. really incredible. Yeah, that's a, that's a good piece, Johnny. I like that. Nice to see stuff like that once in a while. Ooh. Oh, hello. See what we got here. Well, we got more of his uh, tie-down tapes here. Yeah, these are uh, Boker-type uh, cross guards. Type two. Yeah, yeah. type two. Uh, this is a, um, let me take that off of there. <coughs> uh, this piece is a, is a later piece. Um, uh, the cross guards are plated. What kind of and, piece is it? Um, gee, I wonder, <laughs> what is that? Well, you guys know it's a chained SS. Um, it's got a really nice grip and an early nickel eagle. And as I say, I can tell by the shape of these that they, they would be uh, uh, Boker marked inside. And uh, you got a nickel chain, and this is the uh, the later type mm -hmm. uh, center ramp. It doesn't have the crisp edge that the earlier one has. <coughs> and uh, this manufacturer did no darkening to mm -hmm. the uh, to the, the chain. <coughs> but uh, the detail is really nice in the in the chain. Uh, uh, the pebbling is is there, mm -hmm. and it's anodized. Uh, and it's anodized scabbard, that's yeah. A, a which one this too? You do see the two screws, two screws, screws a lot of time on the anodizing, and yeah, it's nice on the back too. And yeah, there's oh, the see, if you want to see. Let's see what we got here. Oh wow! Oh man, and I'm getting better that than that. Beautiful. Look at that blade! Wow, all the grains in it. Uh, fantastic motto. That thing really jumps. Yeah, it really does. Uh, yeah, it's an unmarked. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is a uh, uh, a really, really uh, totally original uh, chained SS piece. It was probably produced about thirty-eight, maybe even thirty-nine. Can you hold it up, Pop? 
<coughs> yeah. Yeah, you hold it, Johnny. I'm going to have a sip. Yeah. Yeah, you might show them the back of the chain mm -hmm. with a Coulter Zeichen mark there and all. Uh, that, that, that's a that's a lovely chain dagger. I mean, it's the late kind, and it doesn't have that wow factor that the earlier ones do. Yeah. But it is what it is, yeah, and it's sure in, it does. it's Still in really it really does. nice uh, nice condition. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, it the like uh, I mean, the, you just that blade is so sure. great. Uh, you just uh, wow. Look at that. You see the grain all in there? Still Boy, that's a, a bit like this. Yeah, there it is. That is really a choice blade. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, that that really uh, maybe that does put the wow factor on it. The blade. <laughs> I think so. That's usually yeah. where the money is. Yeah, there's nothing uh, nothing wrong with that piece. Good solid original, nice piece. Nobody could be ashamed of putting that in your collection. Mm -mm. Yeah. I like that dagger. It, uh, you don't see really uh, many late ones that are nice and. Uh, yep. Mm. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh my! What's in this here? What are we looking at now, Johnny? Are you kidding me? Oh. Like Hello. Oh boy. Almost just hanging it right there. Look at that collector's. Wow. What a beautiful thing. <laughs> Torgan yeah. tough title. Um, with the uh, the Totenkopf um, insignia. The Totenkopf Torgan did wear the Yeah, we've had Torgan wore the We've uh, had the, this before. Yeah, uh, similar one. And uh, what is he with the thread? Uh, Oberleutnant, or I don't know what the ranks are, but uh, boy, what a the tunic is. Uh, it's all doe skin. Uh, it's the softest stuff you'd ever feel, just beautiful. And the one, the one shoulder board. Really, really beautiful. And the typical lining in mm -hmm. the sleeves. Uh, the agolette is beautiful. Can you check the in, in, inner pocket for a name? Uh, look at here. Yeah. There's for the dagger holder. And it's cut yeah. out. The name has been cut out. I guess you know why that is, guys. The original owner didn't want to be identified. and uh, But uh, there's the original tag there. Um, Can I see the armband pop in the cuff title? Yeah. Beautiful wool armband, beautiful Torrigan. This is a 100% um, original tunic, guys, something that is extremely rare and extremely valuable, too. <coughs> yeah, you can uh, kind of buy a new car for what this thing's <laughs> worth. It's just, right. uh, wow, is that uh, tremendous. Let's take a look at the back side of it, too, Johnny. Wow. Boy, what a... Oh, here's the uh, the chevron too for the mm -hmm. long-term service, and I don't see a moth in it. Mm -mm. You see any flaws at all, Johnny? I don't. No. Yeah. We really don't. No, this is uh, uh, this is a really rare thing, guys. Wow. Uh, quite exciting indeed. Wow. All right, Johnny, we got anything else, do we? Of course. Oh, yeah. So I'm not quite done yet. Oh, this thing, yeah. It's a record player there, John? <laughs> yeah, it's a record player, yeah. I mean, like that is. Pretty nice box, though, isn't mm -hmm. it? What's it say on the front there, Rob? It's got an, uh, <coughs> it's got an eagle and an M, so it's something to do with the Navy. Oh, oh yeah. okay. All right. I'll pop this. It's a nice, nice box, box, though. Yeah, very nice. Box is in mint condition. It sure is. Oh wow. Ooh, boy, look at that, huh? Wow. Man. What is that, Johnny? Uh, I think it's a sextant. It, it does look like, yeah, yeah, Creeks Marine sextant, yeah. 
That doesn't look like it was ever question. used. Oh, thank you, Michael. Yes. Okay, good. He did put the note in there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> we picked this up at the SOS on... Uh, yeah, and we couldn't remember who gave it yeah. to us. And, uh, all we had to do is open the box. We <laughs> looked inside, and there it all is. Yeah. Did you left your name and number in there. Thanks, sir. Well, that's great. Uh, we don't know a lot about um, instruments, but... Uh, I'll bet if you were lost at sea, you'd figure out how to use this in a hurry, <laughs> wouldn't you, Johnny? Yeah, Absolutely. We couldn't figure that out. We'd be done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <we'd> be, <laughs> that might be true. Yeah, we'd, we'd never get anywhere. But that is a, that is a beautiful nice instrument, piece. isn't it? Wow. Yeah. It, uh, it really, it virtually looks unused. Absolutely. I mean, you would think the inside of the box would show some stains or some age, mm -hmm. but it's been so well cared for that... Uh, and there's a document behind it too. I don't know yep. if it's dated know or not, but it is, it's but signed. And yeah, it's, <coughs> maybe that's it's dated, instructions uh, on how to use it. I don't know. It's dated 43. Wow. But for you guys that are um, into uh, instruments, boy, that's uh, hey, John, there's that? a. John, there's a maker that's that C plane Hamburg, which matches. That's the, a mirror uh, to yeah. look at yeah. your face when you're lost. I guess that's it. Yeah. <laughs> look at your. No, it's look a desperation. That's a that's yeah, a sexton. Uh, that's a rare piece. That's amazingly rare, yeah. That's great. Thanks, Mike. We'll take care of that for you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, with the box, I mean, come on. That's a, that's a fabulous yeah. piece. Boy, that's a neat thing. Wow. Well, like I always say, you never know what's going to come in here into this cellar. And a uh, uh, thing like that, uh, for the right guy, is, uh, is most interesting, I'm sure. That you was got anything a, else, Johnny? That was an SOS uh, pickup. SOS pickup, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. These come from, uh, I think, a long-term collector of yours. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, this is a, uh, this is a lovely um, uh, AH serving tray. It's got the rolled uh, eagle on it with the monogram uh, in super nice condition. And a lovely, um, lovely patina on yeah, it. Yeah, I like the way that looks. That's a nice piece. Yeah, it's really a really kind of thing you'd never want to clean. It's just so beautiful. And I wonder if it's welder marked. Are these are aren't these usually well marked? Well marked. Yeah, I would think so. Usually they are. Uh, I can never find the mark, but Ob usually finds it somewhere. And maybe John uh, can help me out. There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. I got it right there. Good eye. Sure enough, it's welder. Yeah, so that's a uh, uh, a nice size, I guess. Uh, what would you carry in there? A cup of coffee? <laughs> yeah. A couple of cocktails? A cheese Probably more sandwich. cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't Martinis. know. But, uh, well, whoever carried it, though, never dropped it. It's in uh, remarkable condition. Full mint. Yeah, nice thing. Beautiful. I like that, Johnny. Oh, and this, yeah. Uh, this is, uh, <coughs> you look at it and um, it's a um, kind of a massive um, uh, cigarette holder. Uh, it's extremely beautiful and it has the um, uh, monogram of Albert Speer. It's the same exact uh, intertwined initials that we see on Speer's. Um, uh, flatware and other items and uh, there's no question this belonged to Albert Speer it has his kind of his style just all over it a uh, very beautiful thing uh, look at that when you open it isn't that lovely mm. uh, beautiful silver it's um yeah it's a hallmarked 800 Berlin where's that dad right up here okay. And the contrast from the inside to the outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because of the quality of it. It's yeah. uh, basically airtight when it shuts, which right. is a good what cigarette you know holder cigarettes, should yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Nice that's a. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, uh, to me, it just it reeks Albert Speer. <laughs> just, you know, and you guys know Speer was not a guy that had a, all kinds of fancy stuff and all that. All we needed was just a little monogram. The rest of it is just plain, beautiful silver. Uh, a lovely, lovely thing. And uh, quite valuable too. Yep, I like that. 
All right, we're rolling again, and uh, boy, I need another drink. Johnny needs another drink. Is there anything left in that thing? We boy, we did we drink all that, or uh, someone did? Somebody must have snuck in here uh, when we weren't looking. And, it was only half full when we started, believe me. I wasn't. I threw it up myself. I remember what was in there. Don't drink it all, Johnny. I want some too. <laughs> We're going to have to go up the yeah, bar. All right, that's good. Yeah. Well, wait a second. What am I? Third wheel off? over here? Oh, yeah, the weak there. sister over there, Rob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going to help the cameraman out. Jeez. Mm. Absolutely. No, that would be crazy. Wouldn't it cut the cameraman out? Man. Oh. oh God! <laughs> All right, Johnny. Hmm? I'm gonna miss my bartender. Are you? Yeah, well, I'm, gonna I'm gonna miss, miss my bartender. Miss my best customers. Yeah. Oh well, the tips are pretty good. <laughs> He's even got the stirrer down there, Pop. Right. Yeah, that. That, that scoop, that's I all wonder, it's good I wonder for. if this ice, the guy that made this ice uh, thing here, whether he realized <laughs> that, that this was stupid. Who's ever going to use that to put ice in? <laughs> but the handle's so great as a star. <laughs> Tremendous. Good design. Oh, well. All right. We got anything more, Johnny? Of course we do, sir. Yeah. Mm. All right. Ready to tell us all about this? Oh, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, what we have here, guys, um, um, we sold this about a year ago, and uh, uh, the collector that bought it has decided to uh, resell it. Uh, I guess he needs to buy a new car or something, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, some people are like that. But uh, this is um, uh, a dagger that belonged to uh, Arthur Sess Inkert. Uh, Sess Inquart was uh, quite um, uh, prominent. Uh, most of you collectors know he was the uh, uh, the kind of the second in command in uh, Austria, and uh, the um, the president of Austria got uh, uh, reamed out by um, Hitler in uh, 1938, and. Uh, uh, decided to step down and uh, turn the country over to uh, Sess Inkert at the time. And uh, what did Sess Inkert do? He gave Austria to the Third Reich. So he virtually turned over the whole, the whole country wow. of Austria to the Greater Reich. Um, and as a result, he, uh, of course, became a SS Gruppenführer and all that kind of stuff. And uh, what we have here... Um, I might add later on, uh, Sess Inkert uh, was in charge of um, Holland mm. <coughs> and the um, uh, the Dutch hated him. They, uh, uh, in fact, uh, the way his name spelled as Sess Inkert, uh, they, I've said this before, they uh, referred to him as a court low. <laughs> <laughs> okay, court low, yeah, court right. Low, yeah. In court, uh -huh. uh, but, um, uh, we have his uh, chained SS dagger. Um, uh, this dagger was sold in um, the estate of Sess Inkert's um, sister. I think it was in 1998, something like that. And uh, E Metals, uh, which is a, another good company. I think they're based in Canada. I'm not sure, yeah. but uh, they they purchased the estate and. Uh, I have the records of the dagger being uh, uh, auctioned and so forth. Um, this is um, Sess Inkward here. Which one? Yeah, this is him here. A picture of him, an original photograph. And uh, this is the original. Um, this is the original um, uh, certificate of authenticity uh, concerning the uh, the dagger. And uh, there's no uh, no question that this piece uh, originally belonged to uh, Sess Inkert. <coughs> and if we could see the dagger, Johnny. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a nice uh, nice chained SS. Uh, we should have uh, uh, told Sess Inkert that he's got the wrong knot on it. <laughs> uh, but I guess a man of his uh, mm -hmm. stature. 
Tony I would have said wants. thank you very much, and uh, we'll have you shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it's a nice dagger. It's an early, uh, early piece with a Type One chain. Um, nice fittings, nice grip. Um, wow! I think there should be some, some the ability to find some pictures of this dagger and where, mm -hmm. <coughs> because um, he was a fairly prominent guy. Has an anodized scabbard and um, a good blade. Oh, I wish I'd get over this cold, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> mm. You too, huh, Rob? And the, the blade's unmarked on the back. And, uh, well, um, it is what it is. It has the uh, uh, marking on the back of the, uh, of the chain link. Mm -hmm. And there's some initials on the snap clip that I've never been able to solve what they mean. Oh yeah, where's that? Uh, Let me see. Right here. Uh, they're not his initials, but they may mean something else. Uh, but the initials are shown in the original auction sale too. Oh, okay. <coughs> and they may not be initials. They may have something to do with uh, the inventory of it. I don't know, but, uh, but this is... Um, okay, hold it up for me, Pop. This is an um, absolutely Sassinkwart's piece. Uh, I sold a, uh, a sword um, that was given to Sassinkwart by Himmler, uh, a beautiful um, birthday type oh, sword. Really? And uh, a few years this. ago it was a... <coughs> Anyhow, uh, here we go on that. Almost, almost. Oh, sorry, collectors. <laughs> I'm going to the hospital when, uh, yeah, right after the video. when this is done. And uh, uh, this is a nice document that uh, was given to Seth Seaport that also goes with the dagger. Can you tilt it towards me, please? Yeah. Thank you. A little more. Uh, I forget what the document is all about, but it's uh, quite an important, um, important document. So, uh, so that's a uh, that's a great offering for somebody that's looking for something uh, <coughs> to invest in a uh, a personality fitting or a, mm. a piece. It's uh, it's uh, unquestionably is what it is, and uh, Very uh, you want something historical. Yeah. It's uh, it's really a great thing. Okay, what's next? All right, Johnny, <laughs> what do we got next, buddy? Yeah, we got an award document here. Mm. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is uh, this is really something. Um, uh, this document was uh, apparently awarded to a um, uh, a Mayor de Schutz Polizei, a, a police major, uh, Walter Sharp. Is it Sharp? Sharp yeah. yeah. And um, uh, given to him for his uh, service time, uh, he must have been quite an important uh, person uh, in relation to the SS and the party. Uh, the document has the raised uh, seal in it, uh, and it's got a um, uh, an AH signature, which um, doesn't look like it's it's printed. It appears to be a real signature, and then down the bottom. Uh, Heinrich had to uh, put his two cents in also, which looks like an original signature. So quite an important um, uh, document here. We'll have to look up uh, uh, this fellow and see what he did. He must have had some uh, great influence within the, uh, yeah. the police to get recognition like this, especially since he was only a, a major, you right. know, that, uh, so... Uh, kind of interesting. So there we go. That's that's something. Mm -hmm. Don't see stuff like that every day, guys. At speaking least I don't. We got anything else, Johnny? Yeah. Speaking of stuff you don't see every day. Oh wow! Yeah, look, look at that. At that. <laughs> Just dig that out of somewhere there, Johnny. Yeah, boy. <laughs> that was in the bottom of the closet somewhere, Johnny. <laughs> something like that. Wow. What an incredible thing. Well, I, I would think, Johnny, this is probably a, um, 
like a Schoenbaum, uh, absolutely, the Real jingling bombs. Johnny thing. Yep. You know, these would probably hang below the eagle on the top of the jingling Johnny for a um, uh, a Reichsbahn railway band oh, uh, with all the tassels and so forth. Yeah. Look at the, <coughs> the silver bullion work on there. It's, yeah, silver the bullion and the railway wings done. and uh, uh, what an incredible uh, uh, coming from the uh, uh, the railway band in Frankfurt. I would think that would have been a pretty big band. Yeah. Uh, I think the trains um, uh, stop in Frankfurt today, and I'm it's sure that was a major hub, yeah. major base That's then. Right. Um, uh, beautiful, uh, mm -hmm. beautiful work to this stuff. And the tassels are all yeah. complete. <coughs> and no am I right damage. in thinking this would probably be a one of a kind, just um, made for that? Um, it must be. Band. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Apparently, none others have been found. Yeah, and There's then the one, uh, one they one. always uh, the, the, the the M I guess is for for mine, mine. the Frankfurt mine. Mm -hmm. Why do they have to always say that? <laughs> I don't I mean, know. Frankfurt <laughs> can't stand on its own. It always has to be Frankfurt um, mine. and mine. Mm -hmm. Why why is that? I what don't know. It? Maybe there are other Frankfurts. No. What is this uh, Frankfurt and what? They always say Frankfurt am Main, Frankfurt on the main Main River. Uh, Why they have to make I that see. distinction is a good question. Yeah, maybe there were more other, other Frankfurts. Frankfurts. I don't know. The Germans, the way they would be, they would say, "No, you're not allowed to name your place Frankfurt." We already got one. <laughs> already over got there. one. But, uh, yeah. We already, but, got, um, we already got one. Yeah, there's like uh, seven Berlins in Germany too, right? <laughs> yeah, it, uh, yeah. But it, it is true. They always say that Frankfurt on mine. Can you flip it? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's blank on the other side That's because okay. yeah. it was worn to be face out from the uh, from the Schillenbaum. That's a killer piece, man. Isn't that yeah. amazing? Yeah. I got my, uh, come here, Pat. Oh, no, you're not gonna come here. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Had my cat patty cake annoying me here. Begging for food here. All right, yeah. let me put this a little closer to you, Avi, and then we got one more thing to show about that. Uh, let's see the, uh, this is in a book, isn't it, somewhere? Right, exactly. Yeah. Here we go. It's pretty impressive. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is a uh, wonderful book. Uh, that was written by uh, my friend Bill Shea, mm -hmm. uh, and it concerns all of his experiences with acquiring veteran stuff and all that. And uh, there's on the, on the cover. That looks familiar. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Oh, damn. And then is there anything else in there, Johnny? Yeah, actually, it appears twice in the book. Let me get to the right section here. There's the first uh, one. There we go. Several other examples. That's the same uh, same piece yeah, there. there. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's amazing these other examples mm -hmm. that uh, Bill was able to find. Wow. Uh, <coughs> but there you go, collectors. That's the same uh, the same piece. And then the real beautiful. Yeah. Look at there. Uh, yeah. That's... Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, that's, that's it with the same uh, the same ends on the on the top and the, all the tassels and so forth all hang down. Beautiful thing, and it says on mine again. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same one. <coughs> that must be. Wow, what a what a beautiful thing. It's yeah. a great book. Yeah, and they're great. Beautiful pictures. Uh, this is something collectors that you just um, you know it could be a. Uh, absolutely a highlight of anyone's collection. Uh, yeah, if you're a railway, like this, this is uh, uh, all um, all done by hand. All all this uh, uh, bullion work and all, just incredible. It weighs quite a bit too yeah, because yeah. of the uh, the weight of the bullion. Heavy fittings and the silver bullion. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's uh, quite nice, Johnny. Fantastic. Yep. <coughs> well, I think we're. We're almost done, um, except we got one one more piece. And uh, what do we call the the final attention getter? The last thing we can find. It's the the Larry. The Larry, for some reason. Some reason it's, it's called hard the to Larry. But the, the Larry here. You know how we always like to save something really nice for the end. Usually we don't know the Larry yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, we don't know the Larry. Yeah, the that's, probably, that's probably it. But um, but that's a term we use. Uh, the Larry. So, 
We have something special. You for guys you. are yeah. gonna like this. Um, uh, I think this. Um, uh, you know, everybody. Before you show that, Johnny. Everybody loves railway eagles. Oh yeah. You know, and I've seen them in the last 10, 15 years just go up, 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 They've up, appreciated up, it. Up, up, yeah, it's your yeah. fault. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault, I just happened to get them and somebody wanted to buy them. Uh, but uh, we've had our, our share of uh, Bonschutz eagles. Uh, but I think um, over the years, uh, this one that we're going to show you, um, uh, Ob and I, I remember we bought this, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 years ago or something like that. Uh, we were at a show and the guy just laid it down in front of his table and Ob says, Dad, go over and get that thing. And I ran over there and I got it. Uh, and then uh, we sold it to one of my really good customers and uh, uh, he's enjoyed it for a number of years. And uh, so now we're going to offer it again. And it is... Um, uh, it is truly a um, expect spectacular piece. Spectacular. Uh, one, two, <laughs> three. Yeah. What do you think of that, guys? Is that phenomenal? Just incredible. Let's scoot it a little bit that way. They can see the plaque. There you go. It's one of the long. Um, what are they, 27 or 28 inch 28, uh, length eagles? And what's incredible about it, when we see some of these on a the railroad car, they have the DR yeah. initials below them, but usually the veterans never bother never to take bother them you. off and you, you just, just get the, the eagle. Yep. And then on top of it, uh, this eagle was taken off uh, by some uh, soldiers in the battalion, and uh, they wanted to give it to their commander. Yep. So, what does that plaque say, Johnny? Can you <clears> see that? I think you're going to read it over here. So, um, right. okay. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. It says uh, Emblem from Captured Locomotive, um, Warburg, Germany, 10th of April, 1945. What's that? 45, right? Yeah. yeah. April 45. So, at yeah. the end of the war. Yeah. So you can see these uh, these guys in uh, uh, in this platoon. Uh, they were very proud of this and uh, thought it was so great that they would give it to their commanding officer. I would assume. Yep. And this is how they looked on the train with the DR still on it. There's the DR. Um, here. Yeah. We've had a lot of eagles, Bob, but I don't think we've ever had one with a DR. <coughs> have DR. We, Bob, other than this one. He's. Uh, well, I, I've never seen the letters. Presented right. with the eagle, and yeah. and to say the least, for the aesthetic of the piece, they per, they're perfectly placed. It's yeah, perfect. As they were, yeah. And these were gifted to uh, commanding officers, from yep. what I understand from this wonderful book yep. that was written. And uh, what a nice trophy to right? to take home. You could brag to your ch your grandchildren. See, I captured a locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do in the war? Yeah. Oh, I captured a locomotive. A but it's a killer. Yeah. I oh, mean, it's, and it's ultra uh, rare. And mm -hmm. it still has it. all the uh, the original uh, wires on the back where the veteran had it displayed on his wall and so forth. That just um, I, I just don't see where it, ever, it gets any better. It's kind of dirty, you know, it's got all the patina from yeah. years of hanging and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> but um, whoever framed it did a fantastic job, and that was in 45. And, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they, they actually, the way they, uh, the, they um, um, cut the edges yeah, on it. It's perfectly it symmetrical, the nice letters are placed perfect, yeah. the plaques there. It's a boss piece. It's, it's, well, you can see, guys. I don't uh, even want to sell Bob, it, but I guess Bob we have to. to. Bob doesn't want me to sell it, but uh, I don't know. I don't have any room to display it, and uh, I don't know. But you can't keep everything, guys. <laughs> uh, but for somebody that's looking for the best of the best in the yeah. Railway Eagles, I think this, uh, this would qualifies. serve the purpose. Is there any marks on the back at all? Anything? Uh, there's so a lot of work from it, just uh, being around all these yeah. years, but uh, that's it. Yeah. But uh, boy, talk about a piece of uh, history.
See right. the screws, the screw heads, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh that's one for uh, Rob collection that's there. That's one but, for Rob. Yeah, yeah, I need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guarantee you, collectors, that's something you can um, acquire, and your wife will really hate it. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. Yeah. There's no way to convince your wife that that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But we know, don't we guys? We know what beauty is, and we know what history is, and uh, uh, and what an investment it is, too. Right. I mean, you, yeah. how are you um, going to go wrong with just, something like that? Yeah. Just, um, yeah, very good investment, beautiful piece. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, <clears throat> uh, that was our Larry, <laughs> Larry at the, the end, guy. and... Uh, I guess as usual, uh, it was uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, we're going to miss uh, uh, Johnny not mm -hmm. being in yep. these episodes. You guys are probably getting used to him. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Uh, I really enjoy it. Thank you so much for having me and uh, well, letting you. me be a it's, part uh, of this. It's great. It's been great and uh, had a lot of fun, yes, and uh, uh, and we saw some things we never saw before yeah. uh, along the yeah. route. Um, Absolutely. You're here for a month, you're going to see something, you know. It just it's a uh, good place to be. So uh, you guys, uh, um, we'll see you next week as usual, and uh, appreciate you watching and love your comments after the videos. And if I can do anything for you, uh, I'm here. And if you want to talk to Johnny, he's here too. Yeah. We'll, we'll forward we'll be any. In touch. Uh, yep. So thank you very much. Thank you. Auf Wiedersehen, Johnny. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.